Okay, we just looked at the Tin T2 IEMs, which are the best IEMs for 50 bucks you can get right now for gaming. At least until they get beat by something else I'll find down the line. But what if you can only afford half that amount? So say like 25 bucks. Well, that's where these guys come in. <laughs> Okay, as usual, disclaimer, I'm reviewing this from a gamer's perspective. This isn't going to be an audiophile perspective. There's other reviews out there doing that. This isn't about that. This is from um, a gaming perspective, competitive gaming. But I will dabble a bit in the other stuff. Anyway, today we're talking about the KZ ZSN Pro Double Big... That's a lot of words. Anyhow, let's slip off the packaging. And we're presented with this Apple-like aesthetic, despite this being just 25 bucks. So we're off to a pretty good start now. Inside the box, you're going to get the IMs with ear chips as well as extras in case they don't fit your ears. You're also going to get a cable, a manual, and a warranty card. Taking a closer look at the IMs themselves, you do get a metal faceplate with a cool design on it that some may or may not like. It does use two pin connectors which jut out a bit, which is designed to work with their cable for a better hold. The rest of the body is made of plastic and lets you see the inside of it and all the drivers. The color of it depends on what you choose when you buy it. I just chose a smoky gray because I kind of liked it. Towards the back of the IM, you'll notice that there is a name written on it with classic upgrade because it is an upgraded version of a pre-existing KZ earbud. If you remove the silicone ear tip, you'll notice you get a metal nozzle rather than a plastic one, which I think is nice. It does have a grill to prevent your earwax from getting in. And other than that, that's pretty much it on the earbud. Onto the cable, I bought the version with the mic, so it has a four-pole jack that is angled and is made of a hard rubber or a rubberized plastic. The cable is the infamous KZ brown cable, which is braided, and the braid is actually pretty nice, honestly. The splitter is made of the same material as the jack, which is nice. And while I did say the main cable is nice, if we run it all the way down to the ends where it splits apart into the two separate left and rights, the quality control kind of falls apart, where the twists aren't exactly even on either side, and this can cause it to tangle a bit, which is kind of disappointing. But as part of a $25 package, this isn't that bad. And if you don't have the mic, it's only 20 bucks. But since I played for the $25 version, I do get a mic, which is simple. It's got a mic hole for inputs, as well as a pause and play button. As for the two pin jacks, you actually do get them on pre-curled ear hooks, which I do prefer because I don't have to worry about these things ever coming out of shape. But what's kind of annoying about them is you can't really see the L and R unless you hold it at a certain angle of the light, so telling which side is left and right is kind of hard. The way I tell is by feeling the slope on the other side, which goes against your head, easily telling me which is the left and the right. Setup is pretty easy because all you gotta do is line up the pins and plug it in, and telling which is the left and right IEM is pretty obvious the moment you just kind of look at them and put them in your ear, honestly. It doesn't take a genius to set them up, I mean, come on. With the ear hook design, you can only wear it one particular way, which is to take this ear hook, wrap it behind your ear, and just take that IEM and stick it into your ear canal. Now here's how they look on my head. I thought they would be a bit bigger because they felt kind of big on my hands, but they don't stick out all that much and they actually feel really comfortable despite the nozzle looking kind of long initially. Okay, so now I'm recording off my phone because I bought the version with a mic and I know you guys are gonna be like, hey man, what does this sound like? It's not too bad. The sound of it was kind of nice. I did listen to it before. I'm actually quite surprised. I thought it would be poop, but hey, it's pretty usable. Now, when it comes to sound for gaming with these guys, they do have a smaller sound stage. It's definitely more on the intimate side. This isn't to say that there isn't any sound stage. It's just small, which definitely makes them more suited for competitive gaming, particularly shooters where you want to hear things and know where people are at all times, even if they're kind of like far off. And with a smaller sound stage, you can kind of know where people are pretty quickly and you'll still get a sense of distance with these guys. A major note I should make about these guys is their sound signature. So the sound signature these guys have is what's known as a V shape, which basically means you're gonna get more bass and more highs. So deep sounding sounds and really high sounding sounds will be more prominent. In actual practice in gaming, I thought that the recessed mids would be problematic, but they actually weren't that bad. I was still able to track people down from their footsteps and gunshots, but it just wasn't as prominent as say on the Tin T2s where the mids were very prominent. The KZ ZSN Pros are definitely capable of letting you know where the positional audio cues are. They're just not screaming for attention the same way that Tin T2s would. Now when it comes to imaging, the KZ ZSN Pros are pretty good. They're not 100% pinpoint accurate, but they're accurate enough. Honestly, I found that the fact that these things don't scream positional audio to me, I found it to be very comforting. Like, on the Tin T2s, these demanded that I pay attention to those sound cues because they played them so loudly. Or on these, they played them loud enough that I would always be attentive of them, and I wouldn't be distracted by them. But for a person who sucks at listening for audio cues, the Tin T2s might be a lot more helpful. For people who are usually attentive of audio cues, the KZ ZSN Pros are gonna be a lot better for that because they're not gonna make you paranoid in the battle and make you sit around because you heard someone moving but turns out it was your friend. Yes, this might have happened to me. Anyhow, I wanna talk about the signature of these guys being V-shaped, which is also known as a fun sound signature. It makes a lot of music that most people listen to more enjoyable because you can feel it a little bit more, you know what I mean? With these guys, when the bass hits, you'll feel it. It'll hit. So despite being half the price of the Tin T2s, 
I think this would actually be better for most people and more enjoyable for most people to use. Another thing about sound signature with these guys is that sound signatures and audio cues are very game dependent, though most competitive shooter games are going to be very mid-centric when it comes to audio cues. Certain other games you might need to hear the bass more for like explosions or maybe the stepping of a titan like in Titanfall, where the bass is needed to hear and find these things. So to sum it all up, the KZZSN Pros are really good for gaming in general. Rather than being good at just one thing, they're good at like kind of being all around, though I would say they lean more towards the competitive side of things just because of the more intimate soundstage. However, due to the more fun sound signature, I just think it's more enjoyable to be using these earbuds to play games versus um, using the Tin T2s where I found these to be more useful to play more competitive shooter games where I wanted to hear and focus in on where people were. But the thing about the Tin T2s was the audio cues and whatnot were the main thing I would be like hearing and would be brought to my attention. Whereas with the KZZSN Pros, I was more attentive of the overall experience just because I wasn't so hyper focused on like the audio cues. So for $25 and if you don't want the mic, $20, these are super good and I would highly recommend them. And for most people, I would even recommend these over the Tin T2s. And that about concludes it. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you to like find them and buy them if you want them and it's an affiliate link so every time you use this link and buy from there I get a kickback and I can afford things to review on this place also like and subscribe because that's how YouTube's algorithm gets me around you know what I'm saying <laughs> anyhow this has been technical hope this has helped you out at all and saved some money I'll see you next time